refugee migration into the Kakuma refugee camp exceeded capacity, leading to congestion at the camp. The influx gave rise to Kalobaye Integrated Settlement Scheme, a new camp which would provide integration and independence between the refugees and host communities. Caroline B. visited that settlement and brings us this report. Located 25 kilometers from Kakuma town, Kaloboye settlement was meant to be distinct. It would bring local communities and refugees together in a symbiotic manner. For a long time, local communities complained of refugees being better off, yet they bore the pressure of embracing the humanitarian crisis. For the refugee traders who we brought on board, they had seen the benefit of the program in uh, Kakuma. And it was an easy task uh, bringing them on board. But convincing the host community, because it's a program that they were not initially involved in, uh, was a huge task. At Koloboye, the host community would be included in the development agenda. Several retail shops have been set up to support them. Aktela Yepong is from the host community. She moved here two years ago to take up a business venture, which took a lot of convincing. Now, she makes over 20,000 shillings daily. She is contracted to help supply food aid to the refugees through an electronic cash transfer program. Part of what could be holding down the host community from progress is their beliefs about refugees. Some of the business people at Koloboye come from outside Turkana, and the idea behind the settlement was too lucrative to let go. In the next, let me say, like two years to come, kama tutaendelea hivyo, itakuwa imepanuka. Apa, I think competition itakuwa very high. Especially now that the road is being uh, constructed, uh, we expect this market to really develop. Koloboye was a decision by the Turkana County Government, the National Government and Refugee Agency UNHCR. It currently has three villages, each with two or three markets. At the marketplace, business is a boom. This is a Kolobeye village one market where close to 50 million shillings exchanges hands here on a monthly basis. And for the host community to be able to operate here, they undergo a rigorous vetting process. However, not everyone in the host community has seized the opportunity. <laughs> Although the settlement is yet to fully materialize as envisioned, it is a welcome socio-economic solution to refugees and the host community. Caroline B, KTN News. Detectives are investigating.